keep this intro super short and sweet because today is a very very exciting day it is december 28th it is the prime time between christmas and new year where you don't really know what's going on and we are up early we're about to head out now it's 8 a.m to collect my best friend katie from the airport she is coming to australia for like the last week of december and the first kind of like two three weeks of january we had new year's eve here with us to spend the very end of our like east coast trip between sydney and melbourne with us and i am so excited guys this time last year when i started planning this trip i spent new year's eve morning with my friends from home to all of them i said next christmas and new year's eve i'm gonna be in sydney i'm gonna be in australia like i just am manifesting it i will spend next new year's in sydney on sydney harbour and katie was like i'll come and join you and i was like you better mean that and she actually stuck to her word and this was a year ago so here's a fun fact i actually met katie in year seven of high school so that's 12 years ago now but Tom has actually known Katie even longer. Tom actually went to primary school with Katie. I went to a different school to both of them. So he's known Katie since he was five years old. And she is somebody that has been both of our friends for years. So this is a really, really nice mix. But yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling on. Her flight lands in 50 minutes. She has been traveling for bloody ever, it feels like. I think it's taken her about 26 hours in total. She stopped in India for quite a long time. Although don't feel too bad for her. On her first flight out of Birmingham, so she flew from Birmingham in the UK, she just randomly got upgraded to business class, which is the most Katie thing to happen ever. Like this girl is the luckiest girl I, I know. Things like that, that's just the kind of thing that happens to her. So yeah, she had a full on bed on the first flight. So I don't feel too sorry that she's had a 26 hour flight, but I'm so excited to see her. I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna have an airport reunion. I think we're on the train. Don't know why we're sat so far apart. We've got our seat for our bags in the middle. Can we show off what like the incredible seats? Yeah, are. at these seats on the Sydney like tram. Well, actually, this isn't a tram, it's a train. Okay, look, okay. all the seats just face that way. That's cool, fun. Actually, how insane is that? They're not for your feet though, they're not for your feet. But you can, if you have like a group of friends, you can just move the chairs. The little things in life guys, but it is 10 minutes from here to the international terminal at the airport. So, this stop my dog, will stop got a coffee. Green Square. Let's go and collect a Katie. Look at this. Also, I think this is really pulley. I mean, I know that this is probably like the oldest joke of all. Tom's sick of me. He's gone. I know that this is probably done every year, but very clever. Guys, look at what we've just bought. Show them the balloon. It says, welcome to Australia with a koala, koala, a kangaroo, the Sydney Opera House. Maybe that's meant to be the Harbour Bridge. I'm not sure. I'm sure she's going to love that, to be honest. We are about to collect her. We're waiting at arrivals. The flight was about an hour and a half delayed. So we've just sat in the airport for like an hour. Even though I wasn't packing the flight, I think it was just taxiing for ages. Um, because it seems to take her forever to like get off of the plane but she's off now she's picking up her bag so any minute she's gonna walk through arrivals which is so exciting what's happening <laughs> I don't even know why are you nervous no I'm not nervous I'm excited I think it is her isn't it not her are you sure <laughs> I just saw a girl with a plan is it her no no I'm not did you get all excited <laughs> what was that I, I keep thinking everybody's her <laughs> Is she there yet? No. <laughs> no? No, yeah. It's nice to hear a northern accent again. We are back in the room. These two are bickering already. These two are falling out. Okay, hey, that's not true. You and Tom are falling no, out. No, that's true. That's true. I'm just staying quiet, so we're not your reels. So. Tom's working for that. Yeah. Katie and I are just catching up. No, we are actually ready to go out now, but Katie is here. It's so bizarre. It's so weird that you're like here in the flesh. Yeah, here how, in the flesh. There you go. That's how fine. was like, come out like, yeah, paleness cool. compared to you? <laughs> how was your flight? Nice. Yeah, I've already told them about your jammy little upgrade. Yeah, yeah. classic business class mm -hmm. for the first half, which wasn't okay. And then the second half, I basically just slept. So. That's actually really lucky. Katie's so alive and awake. When Tom and I flew into here and landed, no, we, were, pretty good. we were okay. I think you were a lot better than me. Let's talk. Yeah. I was absolutely dead to the world. I was I like, I can't like, do anything. I tried to get into the Australian time zone and slept for like eight hours from like midnight to eight. Oh, very broken. Yeah. But like, as much as you can sleep on a plane. As much as you can sleep on a plane. That's the more than I get this. 
nice. Yeah, yeah to be fair. That is rare. You're very cheery, very <laughs> chirpy. So full. <laughs> <laughs> because she's okay, because she's alive, we're gonna go down to the harbour front, see the Sydney Opera House, do the touristy bitch, you know, grab some food. It's gonna be fun. I'm so excited for you to see like the Opera House and everything. I am. It's gonna be fun. We are back in Sydney. This is how you know we're back in Sydney. Opera House, Harbour Bridge. It's like seeing ticks off the list, I think. Not a spark. Not a spark. Not a spark, not a skirt. It's just a regular old skirt. This is a skirt. Oh. But the so word you're looking for is skirt. So mine has shorts. Do you not? I thought like skirts. You get those skirts that are also like shorts. But like, <laughs> skirt. No, because that actually got shorts underneath it. Do you know when like he's like oh, it's like mean, it's right. still kind of like going uh, here. Yeah, it, yeah. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. This Right, anyway, guys, I've just started my camera and oh, this is me, ongoing. Man. Yeah, I'm like, cut out the Tom, the skirt Tom is just learning what the difference between a skirt and a skirt is. And um, why is wearing a skirt? <laughs> We are heading to the Welcome to Travel Christmas Party, which is tonight in a sidebar, which is kind of like the bar, nightclub-y kind of thing. Underneath Wake Up, which is the hostel we're staying in. We stayed here before when we were in Sydney. I stayed here last time I was in Australia. I feel like I really know this hostel now. Um, and this evening, there is a Welcome to Travel event going on downstairs where you can meet other travellers that are here kind of over the festive period, which I think is a really good idea on their behalf, especially if you're a solo traveller because you, you don't want to be alone this week. I feel like this is a week where you want the most social you know so I'm gonna go meet some of the people Katie is powering through we did just have like a two-hour nap but she's still up and alive and I'm impressed to be honest doing well so for example um, my name is Laura Yay! Okay, um, he's about to win a skydive guys for free on uh, welcome to travel which is pretty good it would take roughly 14 days to drive from one side of Australia to the other. Good morning guys. I don't really know what I filmed last night. Uh, we ended up staying out for like longer than I thought we were going to. Katie, bless her, powered through. I don't even know how you did it. I don't either. But somehow she just managed to not be that jet lagged until like 11 p.m. she was up. I was very impressed because Tom and I were asleep by literally seven o'clock when we landed it. But it is Thursday morning now. In true Sydney style, where yesterday was really warm and like glorious sunshine, today is kind of cold and a bit wet. Okay, cold is a punch. Well, it's 21 degrees. So for Australia, Australia summer, that is it's not great. But we are in true British style, gonna ignore it and still head to the beach because we kind of had already planned to go to Bondi. So we're gonna do the walk, I think, because it's actually not bad weather for doing the walk. Cause like there's a very famous coastal walk between Kudji and Bondi beach, which takes about an hour, an hour and a half. And if it's really hot, it's not really very ideal to be doing that. So it being a bit cooler is kind of better. And then we're just gonna assess once we get to Bondi, whether or not we wanna stay on the beach or if we just wanna get lunch and maybe come back. We're just gonna see where the day takes us. So guys, it's pretty windy. I'm not gonna lie, but we are on Coogee Beach. Uh, this is the first time we've been here this trip to Australia. As you can see, it's not glorious sunshine, but it's not the worst. There are still people swimming in the sea. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. I'm not gonna lie, truffle mushroom, poached eggs, and ricotta on toast. Figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Guys, it is quite a lot later on now. We are back from Bondi. We got back at about half. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Half past three. Had a little nap. We're gonna head out for dinner now. What time actually is it? Half past six. We're gonna get changed and go out for some food at Spice Alley. This is one of my top recommendations if you're ever in Sydney. It is a little bit out of like the centre, but it is super near to where we're staying in Haymarket. So it's really good if you're staying in this hostel. And they just have so much good. I wanna say Asian food. I think it is all Asian food and it's all really affordable. It's like street food basically. Uh, so we're gonna head there, but we're gonna get ready. And I think afterwards we might go out. So I'm gonna get ready as if I'm going out. We'll see how the night goes. Yeah. 
Kid said we are. I don't know what to wear. So this is like my going out packing cube. Not worn my skirts too much, but then otherwise I have pretty much wore all of this quite recently. Although actually all of it is clean because we did just do a wash. So I'm not going to wear this because I wore this on Christmas Day. But the rest of it, I think, oh my God, actually I might hang up this dress because I'm going to wear this on New Year's. I've been carrying this around specifically for New Year's Eve. Need to hang that up. Thing is guys, it's actually quite chilly tonight. Otherwise I'd wear these shorts because I love these shorts, but it's just not really warm enough. I think I might wear my jeans and then one of these tops. I we are ready to go out. We've made a little bit of effort, guys. I'm gonna call it a trial run for New Year's Eve. Right, like, it's really not. No, it's definitely I'm gonna look not. A bit yeah, I'm gonna like properly do my hair for New Year's, but slicked it back into a plait. Kate's okay, got a ponytail. We've gone for jeans and cargos because we're wearing this top, which is from Zara. I wore this on Christmas Eve, but I think. It's giving week between Christmas and New Year. It's giving festive, you know? Katie's gone for glitter. Because if I don't wear this now, I'm never gonna wear it, so. True. And we're gonna head out to Spice Alley. Tom, do you wanna do an outfit of the day? Or me, or you guys? No, you. Yeah, you where's that top from, Tom? <laughs> Yours is from Goose and Gandhi, yeah. Possibly ASOS for the jeans. Probably. The shoes were from York Designer Outlet. Lovely. The belt was from Vietnam. It's not a real off-white belt. Wanna try and guess where mine and Katie's clothes are from? I'll do my best. Go on. The top is from. I just said this, so. HM. Cotton on. No. Sephora. Sephora, yeah. Useless. Sephora. It's from Zara. Zara. Oh. Jeans are from HM. They are from HM. Shoes are from Converse. They are. Katie's cargoes are from HM. No. We already did have the main one. Zara. Got, no, I don't think you're gonna get them. Stradivarius. Uh, oh, I know Stradivarius. Yeah. And your top is from HM. No. It is from Zara. No. Stradivarius. If you were a girl, you'd know where the top was from. Yeah, it's probably. Such a... Everybody had this top, has this top, but it's a great going out. I know you had this online. Is it one that I know? Have I bought from it for you before? No, not recently, I don't. Actually, I'm not sure you ever uh, have. I'll probably won't get it then. What is it? Pretty, Pretty little, little thing. thing. No, I've never bought it. I've heard of it, but I've never bought it. Yeah. I'm gonna go out. I don't know what this angle is. I also don't really ever know what to do when I've got my hair up because I'm like, oh, where's my hair? Should we bring that little brown price line back for drinks? Yeah, we could do. Spice Alley is bring your own alcohol, which I actually quite like about it because it means it's actually usually a cheaper night out and also you can take like what you actually want to drink in with you. So it's pretty good. We went for Thai street food. Of course I got a pad thai, of course I did. I got it with tofu, veg, peanuts, obviously all the classic stuff, but it just looks amazing. Katie got uh, chili jam. Chili, chili jam chicken. That was it, with, really with rice and veg. Tom's actually kind of eating his, he had sweet and sour chicken and rice. We've also got our alcohol. Love Spice Alley guys, you definitely should come here if you're in Sydney. Spice Alley is, Spice Galley? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm just going to have a week. Okay, dokie. Spice Alley is done. We are heading downstairs to have some drinks. And then we're going to go to Ivy, which is probably Sydney's biggest, most famous nightclub. Tom and I did go the last time we were here, but we didn't really do it properly because we weren't, we'd not had a drink when we went in, which firstly, I feel like going into a nightclub stone cold sober is a total different experience. Not necessarily a bad one, just very different. I felt like I was just very aware of everything, super observant, and there was a lot going on in there. Like my mind was overwhelmed, but also we didn't really like see everything because it actually has a swimming pool and an outdoor That's area. Cool. We didn't see that last time, but this time I think maybe we'll have a little explore. Not to the pool because we're not in the key. No, we're not going to swim in, but also I'm not going to- Don't let drunk Katie think that's a good idea. We weren't going to swim in, we definitely weren't. No. But also, I don't know why this whole clip is out of focus. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm leaving this camera here because I'm just going to bring my phone. So anything you see from now on will be filmed on my phone. Yeah, you'll go. Thank it's you. It's like a vlog this one. Every time I go home, I've only been home like twice as well. Messes. Every time she's like, please can we watch the vlog? And I always forget. Oh, she's, she's still not herself. watched it.
guys, it is Friday morning. We're feeling a tiny bit worse for wear, but not too bad. We've managed to make it out. Considering we got in at like 4 a.m. We got in at 4 a.m. and we are out again at 10 a.m. this morning. We have come to see some animals today. I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, Tom and I have been to Australia Zoo already, but that's up near Brisbane and Katie's not having that experience. So I was like, I want you to have as close as you can. I wanna see a koala. She wants to see a koala. You know, you're in Australia when you see a koala. So we're at Taronga Zoo, which is in Sydney. I did not know that this was here, but it looked amazing. Um, so we're just heading up now. We've just arrived, surprisingly fresh faced. I don't know at what point I'm gonna crash today, but it may well be soon. <laughs> insane from here. It's actually a really great spot to see all of Sydney from. Wow, that bill's changed colour. Their teeth oh. are too good. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> we have, guys, we've lost the plot. <laughs> we are so tired from we're our night out. We're asleep and we're delirious. And, and the camel is chewing <laughs> so <laughs> funny. <laughs> It's a capybara. I love capybaras. They're so cute. We are getting a cable car back down to the ferry, which I'm quite excited about. The tickets included a cable car ride. Yeah, I think we're getting right through the city and all of the animals that we've passed as well, so it's gonna be good. It's called a sky safari. I'm kind of a bit scared of cable cars because they actually do move really quite fast. I've never seen them from the ground. They're like yeah. freaking speedy, fast. yeah. Like look at the way they're coming in now. <laughs> it's like a ride. <laughs> actually, I'm frightened of them. <laughs> All day guys, these two have been bullying me. These two are oh, ganging up for me. Please take to the spider section. Yeah, that was me. Exposure therapy. Yeah. It's really cool. But That's insane guys. This doesn't happen every day, does it? We are in Coles, just picking up a few bits for dinner. Here's Tom. Katie's just informed <laughs> me. Here it is. Here's the Dormia. Katie's just informed me that here in Australia, they call all sweets lollies. I have no, I didn't realise that. Did you know that? What? Why are you throwing a bit of that? I'm so tired. Yeah, we are a bit delirious, yeah, guys. They do look good. But yeah, so all like Haribo's, chocolate bars, they're just labelled as lollies in the supermarket. No, chocolate's not. No, the chocolate over there was. No, chocolate's still chocolate. Over there, honestly, sweet. they're Cadbury's down no, as lollies. Maybe. Like the small singular bars, not the full bars. Yeah. Weird. Nothing's got a sweet. No. Sweet. Also, this is Katie's first Australian supermarket experience. It is. Good morning guys, it is January the 2nd, we're picking this, why did I just say January the 2nd? January 2nd, um, we're picking this vlog back up because I had a little break over New Year where I filmed New Year's Eve separately, so that vlog's probably going to be up next. Today we are heading to Woi Woi National Park, I think that's how you say it, I don't really know. Basically we were kind of googling like places that you could do as a day trip from Sydney. Here is Thomas, here he is, here is Katie. Um, and this was one of the places that came up kind of like as quite nearby because obviously in Australia nothing is actually that close. It's like, oh you could go to Canberra but it's like four or five hours on the train and I'm like, that's quite a long way for a day trip. But this place is only an hour and 15 so we're going to head there now. We've had a little Google, it looks really beautiful, really like gorgeous like national park and like nature walks. So hopefully it's going to be good to film for you guys. at Brisbane Waters National Park guys. Okay. We actually didn't do too much research before we got here so we kind of turned up to this national park and we were like we want to go on a walk and then we were like where can we actually walk? So I wouldn't really recommend just like offing into a national park with no no research but we did a bit of googling. We got a taxi to like the like drop off point where the walk starts because we obviously got the train here and the train obviously doesn't drop you off in the middle of the national park so we found a way and now we're here and so far it's beautiful. I'm not really sure what we're going to see. Our aim was to see a waterfall for, wasn't it? Yeah, we are going to see a waterfall. Even if I walk for nine miles. Kitty's manifesting it. Kate wants to go to a waterfall, so I was like, sure, let's do this. We've ended up here so far, and to be honest, I have had worse views. Like, all of this, for as far as you can see, is just trees and like hills and just undisturbed landscape. I can't believe how long this goes on for. Like, it's massive, guys. The size of this national park is crazy. <laughs> We 
found a random lagoon guys we can swim here because when we got here uh, there was like a family and their kids were swimming in here and i was like they probably wouldn't let their children swim where there was crocodiles right yes. yeah probably do your research before you just come and swim somewhere random guys but hopefully if this vlog makes it up it means that we have made it safe we are on the train back the views are pretty good guys i'm not gonna lie this train out to the central coast from sydney is so nice like the whole journey pretty much especially the last half when we were on it this morning here is thomas here is katie it was very nice wasn't it it was very nice also how far did we end up walking we just did like a seven kilometer walk guys maybe a little bit more eight kilometers it was pretty good it was quite a hike but it was like a good level because it wasn't like super uphill or super downhill it was like good mid ground but it was very hot i would say actually yeah there were some inclines to be fair 9.7 kilometers not bad not bad at all also we went swimming so now i'm a bit soggy so i'm also a bit cold hence why i'm wearing this but um yeah we've got like an hour on this train and then we'll be back in sydney guys we are in the arcades in chinatown right now and for some reason we've decided we're all getting tiny little mario karts I got Mario Kart figurines, show me, show me your balls, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's a PG channel. PG channel. My turn, here we go, can you give me the camera? Okay, we've decided if we're sticking or twisting. You're sticking. Okay. Yeah. Too much for me because I need to solve to figure out a bad one. Tom is uh, using the last two turkeys on a grabber machine. Oh, oh, no way. Oh, that was so close. They always do that. Yeah, yeah, that was close though. We're going again because Tom was not happy with his, uh, his prize, so we have to do it again. Guys, I never ended this vlog. I actually don't know how much I included. I might have actually put the Woi Woi clips in this vlog, so then it's not too too far out. But it's pretty much a weekly vlog at this point. I'm gonna end it here because I'm gonna start a new one, which is more of like our excursions and like a week in the life of being in Sydney whilst also doing all new activities or like quite a lot of new activities. For example, spoilers, but we're gonna go to the Blue Mountains, which I've never been to before. We're gonna do a dive in Sydney, which I've never done before. And then we are actually heading to surf camp, which I have actually been to before, but Tom and Katie haven't done surf camp before. But yeah, anyway, that's all to come in the next vlog. So it's gonna be an exciting one. I'm gonna end this one here thank you so much for watching i feel so lucky that we get to do this bit of the journey with katie as well because it's so nice to have her with us she's crying over there you better be crying over there i was, I was like that was cute and then i looked over and tom's like Ooh. it's been lovely so far so we're gonna we're gonna continue and i shall see you in the next vlog thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new and i actually have no idea when the next one will be up but it'll be soon bye guys